Today I'm going to demonstrate an exciting new feature, Topology Viewer. The Topology Viewer is nothing but a rendition of a service and its various components. It could be application component, infrastructure component, or network component. Here we see a service alarm and the root cause seems to be associated with the network because the average network connection time is very high, but we do not know which component is contributing the high network connection time. So we can see the service which is being impacted here is a service called WebEx. We see the users here, the actual availability, and a risk associated with it. Here's the overview section. From the overview section, we see a link from where we can open the topology link. So let me open topology link, and it opens the new window. So we, here we have the topology link, which takes us to the topology viewer. Here we can see the context type, it's client to application, client to client, or infrastructure or service model. So since our application which is affected is WebEx, so I will click that and it will open a new window for me. Let me use this blue bar for easy navigation. So here we are. So as you can see here, we can see the various components here. Uh, we can see the aggregate components, the branch office, the data center, the public cloud, and the links in between. Throughout the product, we follow the philosophy of follow the color orange or red, which means that anything which is in green is not a problem, but any color which is not in green, such as orange or red, is a problem here. So here we can see the WAN SD WAN. It depicts the color orange. So before I go into the current problem, let's see what else can we do with the topology viewer. First of all, throughout the product, we use the same filters. You can use the filters to get to the context of another application, or you can use the filters to change the time period. So for example, here, I can also select show the timeline view. So here in the timeline view, there's a date and time associated with it. And as you know, in today's environment, where components are dynamic in nature, Topology can change over time. So if you want to go back to a particular timestamp in time, you can diagnose problems that occurred at that specific point in time. You can do that as well. Now let's come back to the current context. Let's deep dive in the problem and components. So clicking on the uh, SD-WAN, we see the matrix on the right side. Uh, and uh, let me click it again. So here again I'm using the blue panel here in the corner just to navigate easily. Yeah, I think that's a better view. Now here we can see the routers and the van which is giving us the problem. On the right side we see a panel which shows various matrix. You can see the alarms, the packets, and so on and so forth. The other thing the topology viewer does is that it shows various links between the various network and infrastructure components. As you can see it, it shows the link state, but beyond the state, it, if you want to see why the applications between the links are underperforming, you can actually click on those links and it will show you the matrix such as packet drops, TCP jitters, etc. So let's see, let's click this link between WAN 1 and router, which is the problematic one. And it just shows us, you know, alarm, uh, jitters, latency, etc. as well. Now, let me, okay. Now, a lot of time applications do not perform, not because there's a faulty component, but because the network is overloaded, and this is a great way of getting to that root cause. In short, Topology Viewer is an excellent feature that helps administrators deep dive into components and subcomponents in finding a root cause that could be affecting an application. Also, it you can do root cause analysis and diagnosis as well, and it gives you a high level view to understand the problematic spots and the other interconnected affected application components.